All right, today at Free Field Training, we are gonna talk about using your mirrors. I very often get people, when I'm training them to be new police officers, who say, oh, he was in my blind spot, when they almost merge over on top of someone in traffic. Now, being a cop, is very labor intensive when it comes to driving. You have to be a pretty good driver in order not to crash into things all the time, even though the very best of us still end up to crash every once in a while. Part of being a good driver and part of being a good police driver is being able to weave through traffic. And blind spots become a huge issue when people believe cars have blind spots. Now there are some commercial vehicles that have blind spots. Those are few and far between. Mainly what they are is vehicles that have just flat mirrors on the side and it's a cargo box where the back window you can't see out of it. But that's not most passenger cars and that's definitely not the vast majority of police cars. And when we have commercial vehicles that don't have a back window, they normally have curved blind spot mirrors and we can talk about how to use those curved blind spot mirrors in a little bit. I'm live streaming this on YouTube and everybody that's watching it live on YouTube, please put me some comments and questions down there. If you are not a subscriber on YouTube and you want to be part of the conversation, subscribe and hit that bell notification so when we do live streams, you can be part of the conversation. Now comments and questions are probably going to be a separate video and I'll put a link to it right up there. So your car doesn't have blind spots, you're just stupid. Every time I train somebody, they end up almost merging over on top of somebody in the Ford Explorer or Crown Vic, and they go, eh, as they're merging over, they go, what are you doing? And they go, oh, yes, I'm sorry, man, he was in my blind spot. Passenger vehicles do not have blind spots. I know it's still popular to say that on the internet. It's still popular to say that on YouTube. You see your car reviews, and they're talking about these huge, this huge blind spot back here. Your car doesn't have a blind spot, dude. It just doesn't. Let me explain how mirrors work. You got the center mirror, right? That center mirror, that's your rear view mirror. It's for looking at things that are behind you. You got side view mirrors. Those side view mirrors, contrary to popular belief, are not for looking at the side of your car and behind you. They're for looking to the side. So let me explain how you set up mirrors so that your normal passenger car doesn't have any blind spots at all. We're gonna look at my rear view mirror here first. And here it is. So this is the view out of my rear view mirror. As you can see, I've got a fairly small car and I've got headrests in the way. So my rear view is pretty obstructed. But you can see in there, I've got, there's a pavilion behind me and there's stacks of picnic tables. So I got one stack of picnic tables on one side of the rear view of my car and one stack of picnic tables on the other side of the rear view of my car. So here's where this becomes important. If I can see those picking tables clearly, the side view mirrors aren't doing their job. They're supposed to be looking to the lanes to the side. So here's how we set it up so we have one big panoramic view of the back and sides of our car. So we're gonna go to the passenger side, side view mirror here first. You see that little blob on the edge there? That's that stack of picking tables. So I've got this stack of picking tables that I can see out the back window of my car right at the edge, which means I can see all the stuff that's in the lane next to me. Now we'll move over to the driver's side rear view mirror, and here's my view out of the driver's side rear view mirror of my car. See that little stack of picking tables? That's the same stack that was over on the driver's side in the rear view mirror. This is what we should see out the side view, just a little snippet of the far edge of the rear view mirror. Now what this allows us is to have that panoramic view of the side, and it allows us to see what's in the lanes next to us in traffic. So I'm gonna cut some video in here. You can see with my rears properly adjusted, there is no blind spot to the right side and there is no blind spot to the left side of my car. When I'm driving down the road, I don't have to crane my neck all the way over and look out the back end through the C-pillar of the car to see if somebody's back there. And regardless how big that C-pillar is, I can still see if there's a car there because I can see it in the side view mirror. What I get most from people who say, oh, he was in my blind spot, is this. I sit in their driving position and I get half the side of the car and half 
the back of the car. And of course, if you have it like this, anybody that is driving anywhere near the C-pillar of your car, you're not gonna see, because you're spending your time looking at the side of the car and the horizon line, and you're worried about what's behind you. Far more worried about what's behind you than what's next to you. Now there's decent arguments for why you should be able to see what's behind you, but I think we'd all agree that when you're weaving through traffic, or when you're trying to change lanes, it's far more critical who's next to you, especially in that blind spot that cars really don't have. Now let's talk about commercial vehicles, because I'm sure it's gonna come up. Box trucks, right? We all know, before I was a cop, I was a truck driver, there's no rear view mirror in trucks. Trucks are set up so they don't have blind spots either, if you know how to set up the mirrors. Trucks will have two flat side view mirrors. You can use them to look behind you. You don't need to see from all the way over here and see the side of the vehicle in order to see behind you just fine for driving a truck. All you need is a little tiny sliver of the car when you're driving a truck. And then that curved mirror that is normally below or in the corner of the vehicle, the mirror if you're on the commercial vehicle, that's the one that you use to look into your blind spots. They're called blind spot mirrors. They literally name these things what they're for. Now on big, super heavy trucks, there's also blind spot mirrors at the far front corners of the truck. And on buses, there's mirrors for the front blind spot and for the side blind spots right near the fenders. If you adjust all your mirrors correctly, vehicles do not have blind spots that you can merge into. It just doesn't work that way couple of times that this isn't 100% true. One is if you've got a car like mine, hatchback or a van, and you got stuff packed all the way to the ceiling so you can't use your rearview mirror. In that case, you're stuck with just the side views. But in the grand scheme of things, is it more important to know how close the idiot behind you is to your bumper? Or is it more important to know who's next to you when there's an emergency? When there's an emergency and you need to swerve out of a lane, something falls off a truck, you need to swerve into the other lane, you need to be able to look, know no one's there, and merge. That's probably more important than knowing if somebody's right on your butt. That's my way of looking at it. And it's it's been played out plenty of times on the street in real life when emergencies happen. I drive 10 to 12 hours a day and have been for probably close to 20 years now. Being able to swerve into a lane and nobody nobody's there is way more important than seeing what's behind you. So even if you've got stuff stacked to the ceiling, I don't suggest pointing the mirrors in to look straight behind you. Now for parking, people bring up all the time, I want to be able to have my side mirrors pointed at the side of my car and down at the wheels in order to park easier so I can park up against a curb. If you have a car that was built in the last, say, 20 years, chances are you have electric mirrors. You have automated mirrors on your car that allow you to move them for just such a circumstance. The car I just got rid of was a 2006, more than 10 years old, it had power mirrors. Every car I've had since my 91 Acclaim has had power mirrors. And I don't buy expensive cars. If you know me, you all know. Basest, base model cars are what I'm buying. I just bought this car, it's a Toyota Corolla, and power mirrors are standard. So if you need your mirrors to be able to park in a city, you can still have them adjusted the way I'm talking about, and then adjust the mirror down so that you can look at the curb next to, the, next to your car on the street so that you can park easy. Just that simple. That's how you use power mirrors, and that's why your car doesn't have blind spots. It just doesn't. And I'm telling you, police cars do not have blind spots. I've yet to found a single one that has a blind spot. All right, all right, so that's it today for Be A Better Driver. There's links down in the description to all of the other Be A Better Driver videos and some other police training videos you might be interested in if you like this one. Also, the podcast, freefieldtrainingpodcast.com, a new podcast just came out, a uh, cop's first time. It's about my first time that I had to, to face death in police work. It's very interesting. It's not going to be up on YouTube. The video we originally did from it converted it completely to podcast form as soon as this comes out. So go check it out, freefieldtrainingpodcast.com. And until next week, guys, be safe. Take care of each other. Hey, thanks for watching Free Field Training on YouTube. While you're here, why don't you go check out one of our other videos, or you can head on over to the Patreon and see how you can get your name put on the videos like these fine folks listed over here. There's also some exclusive content on Patreon that just shows you kind of behind the scenes like you're seeing now. We'll see you guys next time.